Your Excellency, I will not be writing anything shortly because I don't think Kenya is ready yet for me <laughs> to, to put on record what I need to do. I think let me allow Professor Kindiki, uh, the uh, Attorney General, Papa Aroma, a few people to get, you know it's a gradual thing, to get Kenyans to get used to the truth. In another two, three, four years, when I assess your excellence with your guidance, that these Kenyans need to hear the story on the difficult journey of the ascendancy of President William Ruto to the presidency and the futile attempts to stop him. We'll record that when the time comes. And uh, it will be interesting. And Kenyans need to know the truth. Your Excellency, what the Honorable Duale has done is a very big step in our attempts to bring to an end the politics of deceit, conmanship, and betrayal. Because conmen and betrayers fear being called out. So I think it's a good practice we start calling them out and giving an account of the intrigues around power. Your Excellency, I must admit today, because I'm a truthful man, that when Honorable Dwale was sacked, I celebrated. <laughs> I may look a mischievous person for celebrating the sacking of Dwale, but I had a good reason. Your Excellency, Honorable Dwale was in our team, but he was not available because he was in Parliament. It was the National Assembly pushing the agenda of Jubilee and President Uhuru Kenyatta. So when he was sacked, I was very happy because he was now available for us in matters strategy and in matters messaging. And we took advantage. You know, Kenyans hate betrayal. Kenyans hate people being treated unfairly. Kenyans knew the kind of work Adam Dwale had done for the President, Kenyatta, and Jubilee and were very unhappy the way he had been treated. So when we were going out with the President William Ruto, we would send vehicles to announce that in our end road will be one Aden Dwale. And Kenyans would turn up to listen to Aden Dwale because they felt he had been treated unfairly. The same thing happened with Kethure Kendiki. When he was Deputy Speaker, he was not available to strategize for us. So when he was shown the door, the man was available 24-7. The same with uh, Murkomen. So in a way, one of these days, when President Uhuru Kenyatta gets time and compassion to give me our audience, I'll thank him for chasing away these people. Because by doing so, he created a solid team that had a great resolve to succeed. Because the truth be said, if William Ruto had lost, it would have been very difficult for this team. If William Ruto had lost, in my scheme of things, and I know and I'm right, I will be serving the fifth man in Kamita now. All these people would not be here. So what happened because of the persecution, a very serious team evolved with a great resolve to succeed. And that is what contributed in a great way to propel President William Ruto to the presidency. Your Excellency, loyalty is what you have shown us. And your, what the Professor Kitiki has said is true. Honorable Adam Dwale and most of us have little regard for money. Money is just legal tender. When you don't have money, it's because somebody else has. It leaves your hands to go to somebody else. Your Excellency had this team that worked around you, gave in to monetary offers. These people would be billionaires.